Okay, welcome back. Um, this is the beginning of the George Harrison Telecaster, Rosewood Telecaster build. Um, so if you watch my one of my first videos, it was a review on this uh, Indi Monoprice Indio Retro Classic guitar that I did. It's in the Sunburst, and I did a review on that. And I love the guitar so much that I decided that I wanted to build... I saw another video... And I just saw this uh, George Harrison Rosewood Telecaster. I literally saw this video maybe a week ago or two, a week and a half ago. And I decided, you know what? I really want one of those guitars. But if you've ever been in the market for one of these guitars, they range, uh, but I think about $2,900 by what I've seen it and upward. I've seen them uh, for even more than that. So not willing to spend $3,000 on a guitar. I said, you know what? Let me see if I can put one together for... <laughs> Less than 200 bucks, even less than that, because I'm pretty frugal. Um, so anyways, I ordered this off of Amazon, and um, these guitars, these uh, Indio Retro Classic Guitars by uh, Monoprice, they're Telecaster-style looking guitars, um, they were just on sale a couple of days ago. Today is March 2nd. I ordered this on March 2nd, this guitar, and this came from California near Rancho Cucamonga, this is where the Monoprice web is, is located at, if any of you... So here it is, Monoprice, Rancho Cucamonga, and it got shipped to Rialto, California, the Amazon warehouse, which is only about three and a half hours here from where I'm at in Las Vegas, Nevada. So this, I ordered this yesterday, March 2nd, early in the morning at like 5 a.m., and this literally showed up to my door the next day, today, March 3rd, at approximately... Let's see the time here, 7.30. So I literally just received this box like 30 minutes ago. Uh, it said, and it was delivered through UPS SurePost. So anybody that knows uh, anything about shipping, this is the UPS SurePost. And I'm doing this video here to show, this is literally the condition I wanted to show you. This came one state away, three and a half hours away from me through UPS SurePost. They just delivered this to my front door. And this is the state of the box, if you can see this. Look how damaged this is. This, I'm not lying to you at all. This is how the box came in. Here's the guitar. It's it's. This is literally how it came in. Falling out of the box. Now I'm hoping there's no damage. This is the box. More damage up top. The box is completely... And I'll flip it over here to show you. <laughs> Strap sticking out. This is what it came to me looking like. Tape still on here. I did not do, I didn't, I'm not lying about this. This is what it came, this is how it was delivered. And I was like, are you kidding me? Anyways, hoping for the best. Like I said, I ordered this one day ago, March 2nd, and today is March 3rd, 2022. Um, I ordered this to be the, the donor guitar for a George Harrison uh, Rosewood Telecaster build that I plan to do, that I'm going to start on. I like this guitar. If you watch my one of my, my other video on this Monoprice Indio Retro Classic guitar in the Sunburst, I liked it so much, I decided, you know what, I'll get another one and do that as my build because I like the first one so much. So, I ordered this one on Amazon because it's it was priced at $99, and on the Monoprice website, it's $109, $109 and, and change right now. And just a couple, literally a couple of days before, it's, it was on sale. Most of their colors, besides the blonde and this sunburst color, those were the only two that were still at 109 The rest of their colors were marked down to $89 on sale. And they were on sale for, I think, about, I think it was about six or seven days, I want to say. And they've gone up today. Today's March 3rd. They're, they're back up to the normal prices as of yesterday, I believe. Yeah, because I went to order it yesterday. The prices had shot up, so I bought it on Amazon because it was only at $99. But the reason I bought it on Amazon instead of straight through the Monoprice website, which I bought the first one, was because, one, it was only $99. Two, was because the new uh, India Retro Classic, the tele Telecaster-style guitars, the bridge on the guitars are now a three-saddle post bridge design. That's what they have on there now. And a no-string-through no brought no string through body. So that's their design now of the, what they're selling. The reason I bought this one on Amazon was because the pictures still showed 
but this had a six saddle bridge and it had the string through body design. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this also, uh, just to see, I'm crossing my fingers to see what happened. I had called Mono Price maybe, or emailed them maybe four weeks ago asking the same thing. And they, on another guitar that I was looking at, the blonde one, and they said, they're, they said they're, it wasn't updated, I believe the guy said, or he said, that's, that's not what they're, so literally a few days after that, this was like four weeks ago, the, the pictures changed on the Mono Price website. Not because, I'm not saying it's because of me, but I'm just saying maybe enough people griped about it and said, hey, your pictures aren't updated. You need to, you know, maybe have updated pictures of what we're actually getting. So, like I said, the reason I bought this is because it still shows it's the six string saddle and it's a string through body design still. And you literally, if you go on, I'm going to try to post this video today. If you go on the Amazon website and you, and you type in this mono price Indio Retro Classic in the Sunburst, if it's, it still should be listed at $99 and it'll still show pictures at, as a six string saddle and a string through body. So I'm going to go ahead and open this and see if this is actually what I got or, or if they just sent me what they're currently, you know, selling at the Indio Mono Price, because this is their location here is in Rancho Cucamonga, the Mono Price here in California. And like I said, they shipped it to Rialto, California, which is literally, I think it's just a few miles between these two. You can correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure these are just a few miles from each other, from Rialto, Rancho Cucamonga to Rialto. So let's go ahead and open this and see if I actually got what was in the pictures on the Amazon website, or, look how messed up this is, or if they just sent me what they're currently selling on the Mono Price website, which is the three string saddle. I may be sending this back. Like I said, this is gonna be the, supposed to be a donor video, a donor guitar for a George Harrison Rosewood Telecaster build that I'm gonna build. So that I'm gonna make, and I know this is a far cry from having a good quality start or a donor, but I think I can make a good go of it. And I'm, I'm pretty crafty and pretty artist. I'm pretty artsy when it comes to paint and wood stain. So I think I can make this happen. First appearance, everything seems fine here. Turn it over. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and put this right on top here. All right, literally this is the first time I'm opening this, so the box was completely mangled. So we're gonna go ahead and see this live together. What we have here. If I got the six saddle bridge with the three, the string through body design, this that's what's listed on the Amazon website right now as of March 3rd and as it was March 2nd. And I can already, I'm, I'm nervous to see here. Everything looks okay here so far. It's hidden under this bridge right here. All right, let's see. Okay. Kind of nervous. The first one had the packaging up here with your truss rods. And so I'm assuming it's in here. And if it is, this is, yep, it is. There's the truss rods in there, the one and the two. There's the one and there's the big one. There's the little one right there. So this is the pa same packaging as the newer guitars. And here is where, let me see. I'm just gonna use my fingers here and see if I can feel. Oh, I feel a line right here. You can see that? See this line? I'm assuming this is, before I even open this. Let's see if I can get in here see about this mystery oh yep I've been gypped I have been gypped yep that's the three three uh, tree saddle right there this isn't what it was supposed to be right off the bat now I can tell you right off the bat too that the back is not going to be the string through nope they did a bait and switch on me I don't know if it's Amazon that did it but yep clear as day there it is no string through body design. I knew this was going to happen. That is the only reason that I ordered this was because it still showed on Amazon. So clearly, yep, there it is.
let's see the rest. I'll just open this up for the sake of it now. But I'm probably going to send this guitar back more than likely. Because I've already ordered another. I ordered a Fender bridge and sa saddle here. and Yep. Even though it's nice. Oh. Ooh, that's. That is horrible. I know it's not supposed to, but that's nowhere near even being close to the. Yep, I, I, I'm pretty sure I knew that was going to happen. The neck feels, ex just running my hand into the neck, feels extremely gritty already. The headstock. Let's go ahead and just open this up here. Put this in my mount. This is going to be ended up being slightly longer than I wanted it to be. But this switch feels good. Hear that? Knobs are smooth. No grinding. Let's take this out, see what it weighs. That feels decent, the weight. Finish. Well, comparing these to my first one, this is more of a, if you watch my first video, this is, this is quite a bit more yellow than the first one I have. I, this almost, I don't want to say looks cheaper, but it almost feels cheaper somehow. The finish does not seem as shiny as the one before. It does feel quite a bit lighter. See if there's any damage on this since the box was opened up. No damage here on the bottom. That's what I was worried about because this was exposed. So that's fine. The neck seems fine on the back side. This is a real letdown because on Amazon, the pictures of this guitar at $99 show six saddle bridge here. And a string through body. Like I said, that's the only reason I bought this. To use as my donor for the George Harrison. It's very, very sad. Very disheartening that you buy something like that on Amazon. And it's still, it's not correct. So I don't think it's Amazon's fault, honestly. I think Monoprice hasn't updated Amazon and let them know, hey, we don't carry that style anymore. And these are... These bolts on top are extremely, I wouldn't want to have to play, man, that's, that would, that's cutting my hand up. It's extremely sharp. Can you see that? I got these, I don't know if these are supposed to be Diodario strings. They're color coded here. A lot of people say that these are just fakes. I don't know this obviously this is not tuned at all the nut up top of the newer one seems seems okay see this here mm, plastic this is mm, uh, okay I guess Let's fret sprout. Let's see about this here. Feels, nah, this is, yeah, this is, compared to the first one, this is quite, I can feel, this is quite a bit. There's, it's not sticking out, but right here, it's got chain on my finger here. It's a little sharp. All through here. <laughs> quite a bit. Quite a bit different, guys. If you're ordering these through mono price now, this is what you're gonna get. I mean, the finish seems to be okay. It doesn't, to be honest, it doesn't seem as shiny as the first ones that I, the first one that I got, and it feels quite a bit, a little bit lighter. Maybe, I mean, not much. Maybe by a pound, maybe half a pound, but it does definitely feel lighter. And it might be because of the bridge but like i said i'm disappointed this is supposed to be in a string through the reason i bought this is to save me the time of having to 
drill these holes out myself, having to spend, you know, five to ten dollars on the ferrules to put, you know, the string through also through. You know, that was basically this was going to be changed, but just that string through design was really the reason that I was buying this guitar. And I said, like I said, I have this same guitar already. And I was, I told myself, well, if I get this one and it's just as nice, if it's the six string, it's a string through, maybe I'll just use the other one and keep this one. But this one, there's some light scratching on, not scratching, but like some rub marks. It's quite a bit of finish. I mean, I don't know if you can see this here. Let me try to get a good angle. It's like a. It looks like somebody polished, like polished it this way. You can see this in the light. See what I'm saying? There's like light almost scratches all the way going this direction, up and down this direction like that. Like somebody was trying to polish it up this way and on the back side. It's definitely a three piece body. You can see. Slight line there, and a slight line right here in the paint. Let's see if you can pick this up in the camera. But there's one right here, there's one, and then there's definitely a line right here too. You can see, I think you can see that. So, just wanted to do a little video on this. This one's loose. This is loose right here. See that? This is right out of the box. This is loose. It was like this. So this is loose. See the rest of them here. Let's see if it's bent. And it doesn't look to be bent. The beak is rough a little bit right here. Overall disappointed. Overall disappointed that I don't know. Just, just generally disappointed. The fingerboard, which is supposed to be rosewood, seems okay. I don't see any flaws in this. I mean, there is a little bit of, a little bit of filing that might need to be done here. It's playable, but hmm, right up top here. It's not as nice as the first one I received. That's definitely for sure. So somebody else, another person commented and said the quality has gone down. And and I, I, I really believe that. The quality does seem to have gone down on these guitars. If you've compared to when I had the first video, of the first one I ordered. The color looks different too. Luckily there was no damage. I'm going to have to change this to a round round style if I'm going to do the if I'm going to do the George Harrison conversion on this one to make this look like the rosewood I got a lot of work on this so if you're interested in watching a George Harrison rosewood telecaster build please feel free to uh you know maybe subscribe and then uh I'm going to start this in a couple of days when I decide what to do with this guitar whether to use this as a donor or maybe use the first one I have and just send this back so I hope this helps. I hope these pictures help. And just to let you know, if you're ordering these guitars now, I guess if you're in, interested in a three-saddle bridge with not a string through design, I mean, I'd say go on Amazon now. And I mean, besides other than that, the guitar seems, I mean, I, I can't say anything about the sound because it's, it still need it all needs adjustment right here. So, but... Other than that, I don't see any glaring flaws besides the fact that I, I feel like I've been fooled. So, everything seems fine on here. Anyways, I hope this helps out. $99 on Amazon as of March 3rd today. Um, $109 if you go straight through the Monopice website, plus tax, obviously. That's the same here. It was 99 plus tax. It was like 108 I believe total with tax here in Nevada um so uh up to you
cool guitar still. I'm just disappointed that this should have been the six saddle here with the string through body. And I, if you, uh, I would like some people to honestly, if you if you watch this video, go on go on Amazon, type in this mono price Indio Retro Classic Sunburst. Should be at ninety nine dollars still, and you can see the pictures for yourself how it shows string through body six saddle bridge here and they're still showing the old pictures and this is what they're sending out through mono price so either amazon hasn't updated their their page or because they don't know or mono price hasn't let them know hey and, or nobody not enough people have ordered these guitars and said hey you guys what are you doing why are you sending out this is clearly not right you know so a little disappointed so i hope this video helps out somebody uh all right like and subscribe if you can and then if you were interested in seeing that george harrison Rosewood Telecaster bill used from this guitar, maybe, then go ahead and subscribe, and uh, I'm going to get started on that in the next couple of days, all right? All right, thanks a lot. Bye now.